I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore get it! Hi. This is my little spawn house on Vault Symmetry's Patreon server. Let me get out outside because this is going to mess me up. Yay. There's not really much to this. I'm right at the water level. And what I started doing, of course, was digging down because I'm looking for stuff. You know, just materials and stuff. So there's a big deep hole and there's trees down there so that I can always make new tools and apparently something terrible happened here there's a ravine here so there was creeper edge and I have been in that ravine but not a whole lot I haven't been over here in a very long time um, because I've got other projects on this server and other servers but this is my little base camp with a whole lot of jack-o'-lanterns and look at this cool toy uh-huh uh-huh See if I can zoom. Now, he said wood logs only, but you know me. Stratuscraft. Oh, I'm, I don't have my F1 on. Ha ha. So I can't see it. Because I was, like, not getting enough coal and stuff. This is really awesome. And I've used it to smell other stuff too and I can do it without gumming up the works because I know how to use the input and output kind of thing this has saved me a ton of stuff Stratus is a really um, good builder he's got a YouTube channel Stratus craft uh, and he just I came over one day and this was here and here's another present what is this I don't know what he's apologizing for. Anyway, that's been there for some time. And Evil Steve gave me pumpkins because, you know, I don't like pumpkins or anything. So, yeah, this is for mining for resources. And I'm kind of diamond poor. I've got some stuff here, you see. The only reason I have a whole lot of gold is we have one of those pig farms. I don't remember who made it. I will try to go on a little bit of a tour to show you people stuff that... I don't remember who people made. That's my original spawn bed. This is what I built when we first came on the server. Now I built this here because, oh that's the newspaper. This is my mailbox. I don't know if there's anything good in it or not. Oh, I don't know. Oh right, that's the newspaper too. Um, so I've got a little farm here. Let me put down some pumpkins so I can show you. There may be some latency in the video. You may be hearing things a little later than they're actually happening. So see, i got a little pumpkin farm. And oh, there's rabbits and sheepers and a few chickens. And that cobblestone barn was for uh, donkeys, mules, and horses. I need to bring some over here. I've got them in another location. And this is heading. You see these palm trees? When you come on the server, that's where you spawn in, where the palm trees are. So various people built these paths. I made this for both mining and for a, I almost said fern, vine farm. And I'm building this. So hopefully, when people first come on the server, there will be a welcome center. I'd like to put in some little games. I would like a rail track with a few mobs and some um, hoppy uppy downy um, armor stands on it and but mobs in minecarts riding around and they would activate the um, armor stands so I have my water elevator that I learned from a video then and then this is how deep it goes so far although you know me I'd like it to go down to bedrock I don't want it to go up to build height, that's just too big. But more presents. Ken Dog. Ken Dog needs to come back on. I don't know where Ken Dog is. Colors for this is a mural I'm building. More diggy diggy stuff down here. And that goes back to that ravine I just showed you. Yeah. This goes back to the ravine and I would like it to be like a underground shortcut to my base. I should probably be showing you this in default texture pack, but you get the basic idea. 
uh, nice you I would like to put an aquarium out there with plants and stuff I'm not gonna run out of anvils we had a really nice iron farm and some Thing has happened they think it has to do with the file for villagers for the server then it needs to be redone because villagers are kind of um, kind of pooping out on people like they're disappearing and stuff and so we need to redo villagers but the iron farm is I messed up my roof it's not symmetrical and I need help because I can't see well enough because sandstone during the day it's so bright that it's really hard for me to discern the wireframes and stuff. Let's try to get under this tree. No, that's not going to work. I'm just going to bump into leaves. So I made this tree farm out here so I'd have plenty of wood for sticks and charcoal because, I don't know, not using up the coal. There's the iron farm out there. Now, I've only got my render distance set at 8, but you get the basic idea. It's one of those um, that goes way up in the air and there's villages on top. I think it's a titan, but something's weird with the files, so there you go. That's just the way it is. There's a bunch of people building over there. Can you see any of it? Um, Kind of, but not really. I swear I've got my water set to clear. Uh, and then when you first spawn in, I'm sorry to make you have to walk so far. I could probably edit some of this out. So there's the original spawn island. So when you first walk in, there's this. When you first walk in, there's this little pathway thing, and I made a real fancy schmancy. Uh, and there's this little path over here, too, that kind of goes around. And I don't know why there's an ender chest. Can we access this ender chest? Yep, it's not in protected stuff. And here's like little mailboxy things with, I think there's stuff in them. Not that one. Yeah, so like a bed and startup armor and junk. I should probably replace some of those. This is my mule. I've had real trouble with mules and donkeys on the server. I've had some very sad things happen. But I have a bunch of them now. There's this really nice guy named Noobstein who has a whole lot of stuff on his base. And he said it'd be okay. He's got multiple donkeys and multiple horses. So I bred some. Where'd my. Oh, there it is. It flashed in and out. So I bred some, both donkeys and mules. I have like one horse and maybe three mules and. I think three donkeys. I don't know. So it, now we're at old spawn. Again, my render distance isn't up very far, and I'm not going to take you on an official tour. But um, this is the hanging gardens thing I built. Mostly I built it so that we would have. Because see, this water is plumb smack in the middle of where people were going from this direction and that, all four directions. So I thought, well, I'll build a little elevated gardeny thingy. So people can just run around the circle and go down whatever path they want. I'm always scared I'm going to get glitched. Uh, my FPS has been pretty low on this server. What is it right now? Not bad, 12. Uh, my FPS has been really low on this server, though, and uh, especially around spawn. It's better farther out, of course. So I haven't recorded hardly anything. Oh gosh, here we go. I haven't recorded hardly anything at all on Falsa server, and it's really too bad because there are some brilliant people on this server, and the builds are just really innovative and clever and fun and go through mule. Please don't die mule. Portals are being weird all over Minecraft. It's not just me. It's people in Hermitcraft. It's people everywhere. But portals are being really weird, especially when you're trying to transport an animal. So the main nether. Ne blah, 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 blah. This is the main nether hub. If you go down here, first of all, here's the pigman farm, which is awesome. It's one of those donut things. You go way up. This is on the roof of the nether. You go way up and um, you hit. We have a target pigman wearing diamonds so it won't get killed. Uh, the target pigman, you hit it with a snowball. And that aggro aggroes all the pigmen so you get XP and lots of gold. 
shortcuts. And this goes, I hope I don't bang my head, but sometimes they do. This goes to new spawn. <laughs> I tried real hard not to go out in the wild nether because nether has gotten so dark now that it's really hard for me to see. So it's fine with me that they built all these paths and stuff. I'm just like, okay, I'll use them. I'm good. So you see, it's a pretty long walk and there's no train, so it's easier for me if I have the mule plus I can transport tons of junk from one place to the other and I'm always I've got stuff I'm working on all over this server so hello hi man get off my knee. would you like me to kill you is that a thing just don't get the big men over here okay hi I didn't know you guys spawned here this is great cuz it's not like I'm big on potion brewing and stuff, but it would be nice to have magma creams. I wish I had a looting sword. Because they don't drop creams very often. And that's a darn shame. Can I hit them with an axe like you do with a um, slime? Yeah. Okay. You guys? You guys? Better keep an eye on my mule. Where'd the other one go? Oh, poo. Did it despawn? There's my mule. Did I lose my mule? There's all kinds of stuff going on here. Somebody's digging out a huge chamber over here. I'm not... They're calling it the nether ender. I don't know what that means. Do you see my mule? Like you guys could tell me. Well, I'm going to go through here and hope my mule went over here. Also, when you lead animals through portals now, I hear a mule. Hi, mule. When you lead animals through portals now, they you sometimes get duplication glitch for the leads. So I'm getting all kinds of leads. And I'm like, that's cool because I don't have a lot of slimes. Okay. So let me put my mule away and I'll show you my place at New Spawn. I didn't even think about building a place here. And then Rem Remuco, Remuco put out a video tour Ow! of New Spawn. I'm owing like my head's getting glitched. My head's going to get glitched on that. Um, anyway, put out a tour. See what I tell you. And I thought, you know, I should build a place over here. Oops, I forgot to put the resources away. So here's my babes. I try not to take the donkeys out. I should probably breed another donkey, huh? Because I've only got two. I would like to have three. So, Oh, no, I have three. Um, actually, I would like to have four so I could take them... Well, probably six, because I need to move them to various places around the map. I'm doing stuff in a desert biome. This is my house. Oh, let me see if I should get up so you can see it better. It's hard to see from the portal, because the portal's got overhangs and stuff. I thought I'd do a house that's kind of New Mexico-y. Um, so it's all in hardened clay and whatnot, and it's not done. I have to put buttons. Um, roofs here are indented, so the water will collect on the roof, and then you put little pipes coming out so the water falls down and is collected, the rainwater is collected to be reused. So that's why you see those little things around the tops of houses out here. Uh, let's see, what should I show you? Okay, well... One thing is, this was a natural pool, and I just used it. I um, kind of landscaped around it to sort of finish it off. And the house follows the structure of this pool. So there's the floaty furniture, the pool furniture, and people playing in the pool. And you see I've done a lot of stuff on the paths and the ground and so on. And I've got outrageously large cactus, cacti. So, uh... It actually looks a lot like real saguaro cactus in Arizona. We don't have them in New Mexico very much. On the border to Arizona, kind of, but not really. Most of them have been domestically planted. They're not indigenous. So, but saguaro cactus can be like four or five times the size of a human. So I made the cactus a little bit really outrageously big. I put the glass on top partly so people won't fall off the roof. But we have a thing out here where we make um, lanterns. You put sand in a paper sack, 
And then you put a little votive candle and light it. And you curl the edges of the, the top of the paper sack down so it's sturdy and also so that the wind won't blow it and catch it on fire. And at holiday time, people put these, uh, some people call them fajaritos, which means little fires. Some people call, call them luminarias. Luminarias are actually, on Christmas Eve, they have huge bonfires in town. Um, anyway, the lights on the roofs, and they'll put lights on the paths too, and the big bonfires are to guide the Holy Family to let them know they have a place for uh, uh, Jesus to be born. It's an annual tradition at Christmas time here. So this is kind of, I call it Casa de las Cabras, which means House of the Goats. I'm very sad there are no goats in Minecraft. I had goats, you know. And so the stairs go up, obviously, and there's a stairway down. That's all storage and mining stuff down there. But here's the bathroom. I'm working on the bathroom, but here's the shower tub thing. This is going to be toilets and stuff. And there will be sinks and um, stuff over here. So, and a little bit of privacy, you know. So, um, yeah. So, that's the bathroom. And you can see, you can see the um, recreational pool from here. This is just another wild pool that I'm saying is the spring that feeds the pool and is also the water filtration system. Eric. I'm not having an easy time with trap doors on this server. Okay, so this is going to be the kitchen. It, it's starting to be a kitchen, but it's not really a kitchen yet. And living dining area. I have a few rabbits on the porch because I don't know quite what to do with them yet. And one of them, that one bouncing right there, is named Toast. And her color changed because when you name a rabbit Toast, their color changes. But yeah, there's Toast. So they're having a hard time dealing with these uh, slabs. They're not real thrilled with it. Nice little lookout. I'm going to put uh, dining furniture out here. And also like, it'll be like a rec room, you know, so uh, the gaming computers and the soft, comfortable chairs and the places that people can get dirty in. Nobody really minds because it's not the best looking place in the house. That'll all be out there. The goofing around room. So this is where like breakfast kind of deal and that sort of thing. Formal dining and card playing and stuff can happen in here. You see, you got a nice view of the pool, and you got a nice view of something I'll show you upstairs. Uh, and it's relatively private, but you get a lot of open air because out here in the southwest, you know, people didn't have air conditioning for a very, very long time here. And the way you kept things cool was by having thick clay walls that would absorb what moisture there was and stay cool so when a breeze came through, you would get some cool air. So you had thick walls, plenty of shade, and lots of open space for air to circulate so you wouldn't get a hot spot so that when the breeze blew, you would get some air. So I made these curtains because I have these irregularly shaped windows. I made these curtains out of banners, and that's my jack-o'-lantern pattern, but instead of doing it in orange and black, obviously, I did it this way. So I'm not sure if it looks like purple jack-o'-lanterns or white bikinis. So I've got curtains up all over the place. I don't have my animations on, so mine aren't waving. My little fireplace that's two stories. And I'll take you upstairs, which is a little overview so you can see what's going on in the hood. Just because it's a real nice view. And it also makes the profile of the building look really nice to have the extra wood. This leads out to the back deck, which is not finished. But you see, this is shade for the bunnies below. And this will go up even higher to make another tarp-like overhang thingy. So it's just a good place to hang out. There will be furniture and stuff here so people have a nice view of the neighborhood. That sort of thing. I might even put a barbecue light right in here someplace. Might be a good plan. The upstairs fireplace. 
the upstairs rooms, which are, this is where I am spawned when I'm over here. But this is going to be the child's bedroom. The dog is having a dream and is going woof 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 in his sleep. This leads back to the staircase. This goes to a master study. This is the desk. I hope to also put a laptop on it, maybe. This is the master bedroom. I haven't put the bed in yet. Master bedroom has its own little balcony. The bathrooms are all downstairs. This is a family house. It's not a mansion. So it's like a real um, southwestern adobe Pueblo style also in that it has expanded as people had more family members and more finances and wherewithal to make the house larger. It started out as a small downstairs. This is a storage area and closet kind of thing. Workroom. Another nice view of the road. So it looks like it has expanded out. Like, of course, this room doesn't quite blend in with everything else. But that's intentional because as they needed more space, they covered it over. And it's rainproof, but you still get plenty of fresh air. And there's heat from the fireplace. All you have to do is open the door and you get heat from the fireplace, that kind of thing. So it's a lot like a real southwestern house. So that's my spawn house. Now, I'm thinking that this video is getting really pretty long, so I should probably show you other stuff later. This is also authentic. People have, oh, I always get stuck here because the slabs don't let me get up. That's the chimney for the fireplace. I'm gonna have to work on this. I don't know how to make this happen. There it goes. It just gets inky sometimes. But see, water would collect here when it rains and then there would be little downspouts. The water would be drained off and collected in cisterns and barrels and things like that. So I'll put some lawn furniture up here. I wanted to make it look like it was safe for kids to come up, uh, up here. Of course you can jump up on top of the glass, but we'll pretend. The awnings for the little side rooms, the overhangs for the side rooms. Got a nice view of spawn. I wish I could have my render distance up higher. I'm sorry I can't. But this is my house at New Spawn and you see my house at Old Spawn. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. It's just that I haven't shown you guys anything. Okay, I've been talking a really long time and my jaw hurts. So I'm guessing I'm done. <laughs> Don't fall out the window. Oh, I need to eat. I've been hopping around. <laughs> Got really nice neighbors doing really interesting things. I will take you on tours. But I just wanted to make sure I put up a video because I've only put up one video of this whole server. And that's a daggum shame. There's so much going on here. There's Right now there's bunnies coming through the walls. So that's me. And thanks for watching. And I promise they won't be as few and far between from now on. Bye. I'd hug you but my arms don't bend. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and the dog dip it!